Yes, how to create and send invoices in PayPal. I'll keep this quick so as to not waste your time. So, PayPal's invoicing feature gives you a wide range of options. Perfect, whether you're selling a service or a physical product that requires shipping. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to create and send invoices so that you can get paid fast. The first thing you'll need to do, as always, is log into your PayPal account. Once you're here, you'll need to go to the quick access menu and click on invoicing. And then click on create new and invoice. The first thing you'll need to fill in is your customer's email or customer's name. If you have your customer's name or their email, you can put it in here. So what I'll do is I'll say my client's name is Victor. Next, I'll need to input items. This is where I need to input the things that I'm selling the client. So what I'm doing is web development. So I'll just write web development here. After that, I'll need to put in the quantity. So what I'll do is input the amount or the price that I'm invoicing the client for. I can select amount only here because there's no quantity, right? Because it's not a list of items. I am billing the clients for web development services, but if I was billing them for a list of things, I would be able to add more items by clicking this button here. For this item here, these are digital services. So I'm going to uncheck this here because I don't need to ship anything. Next, I'll need to input notes for the customer. So what I'll say to them is thanks for your business. I'll need to uncheck this one because my products are digital. They don't need shipping, right? You can include the cost of shipping if you are selling physical products. And you can do that by checking this button here. But I'll leave that unchecked because I'm selling digital products. I don't need to ship anything. Next, up here, you can add your terms and condition, your reference number, your memo to yourself, or upload any files that you need the client to see. Once you're done with this, come over to the payment options here. And in here, the first payment option option here will allow your users to pay the invoice partially. Let's say you want your clients to pay you 25% of their money upfront and once you are done with the project they'll pay the other half. So you can enable this option and put in the amount you want them to pay before you start the order right but I'll keep this one unchecked and also you can allow them to tip you if you do a good job. That means that they can pay more than this amount here as a tip to you. The available payment methods here are PayPal, Apple Pay and using their credit cards. So basically your customers will be able to pay using any of these methods. If they don't have a PayPal account, they can pay with Apple Pay or they can use their credit card. Once you are done creating the invoice, you can click on preview here to preview your invoice and as you can see our invoice currently looks like this you can click on this button here to download the pdf as you can see this is what our invoice looks like you can download it and send it to your clients but another thing you can do is if you inputted your client's email here paypal is going to automatically send this invoice to their email address another thing you can do is click on more option here and click on share link to invoice basically this will give you a link which you can then send to your clients and when they click it will take them to this invoice so that they can pay the amount right so as you can see, once I've clicked on that button, I can get this link here. What I'll need to do is just copy it and let's say go to a private window and open this and see what it looks like. And as you can see, this is what our clients will see when they receive the invoice. You can see the amount and they can continue payment here to pay you. Another thing that I really do is you can add a logo to your invoices and you can do that by clicking on edit invoice and in here you just click on more options and click on edit or add logo in here. From there, you will just need to upload your logo and this logo will automatically be added into your invoice. I don't do this because I don't really need to, but you can do that if you want to. Please like the video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if this video helped. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.